you're here with me at the same time? I, I How guess, is this possible? Uh, Martian Manhunter? I think he did something funny to us. This must be some sort of alternate universe. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll figure uh, that out later. And welcome to the Hayden Films Minutes Extra Edition. I'm your host, Hayden Credoff. And I am your co-host, Alec Barber. <laughs> so this is going to be a fantastic year in review about all of our projects we've worked on in 2020. What a mm -hmm. crazy year it's been. And we're going to talk about some of our 2021 projects. But let's kick it off with... Possibly, before we get to that, make sure you guys are subscribing to our channel. It helps our students out. Click the link in the description below to check out our $10,000 Hayden Films 1.0 screenwriting competition. Ooh. And if you want to check out previous episodes of the Hayden Films Minutes or check out our podcast, The Hayden Films Verge, we're going to have that in the fancy schmancy button in the top right corner now we can officially start the video exactly. by talking about Florida. january january so we ultimately traveled down to the pro bowl in orlando mm -hmm. and you want to pick up the story from there because i think yeah. you had a lot of information and you actually produced some of those video clips i helped produce the video clips but you were the main cameraman along with your old friend michael atardi of the oakland raiders yes. and the one of the leaders of the new jersey chapter of the nfl alumni a nonprofit organization looking to help give back to the community and bring in old veterans of the National Football League. You guys went down and you had a couple interviews with a few interesting NFL stars, yeah. even including New Orleans Saints, Drew Brees. Yes, it was great. We interviewed Drew Brees. Uh, Michael Otardi had an opportunity to interview um, Pete Carroll yeah. uh, from the Seattle Seahawks. So that was a great interview. But the most important thing about the whole thing, and, and we have a lot of extra footage, and we might have some of that footage l linked below, so we'll dig some of that up mm -hmm. from the archives. But we had full media credentials, and we were actually on the field That's during awesome. practice. Like I was right, like literally, they were snapping the ball, and we were right there. So it was almost like a childhood dream to be on the field with you know NFL high-level professional athletes mm -hmm. like that. But the other really awesome point that was exciting for me particularly is you know it, it was just to be there, to be there um, down there with the athletes um, and have the media credentials, but there was a wounded warrior of, uh, event. Wow. And I know you're part of the military and obviously, you know, my grandfather was in the military, my uncle and my first cousin. I have come from a military yeah. family and, you know, I only went to ROTC for three years in high school, but I have a really high level of respect for the military. So we ended up going to this wounded warrior event on one of the fields. And um, what happened was, Ultimately, I guess some sort of delay with one of the referees or a team of referees weren't available. Yeah. But because of Michael Otardi's um, background and his interest, and in, in not interest, but his connection to the NFL and, and even being part of uh, the referee squad, we got in real time asked to go referee some games, flag awesome. football. And so they ended up giving us referee um, um, footage, I'm not, uh, what do you call it, the jerseys, yeah. hats. They took us and huddled us, taught us some um, quick um, rules of the game. And I was out there, and we were actually with the Wounded Warriors and current and past NFL greats that yeah. were part of the team. And you saw some of the, yeah. actually you've worked on some yeah. of that footage as well. Yeah, the Wounded Warrior Project videos and highlight reels, that's, um, that's some of the things that we take great pride in here at the uh, Institute and the Hayden Films Agency, working with uh, companies that have a strong belief and strong passion in uh, what their causes are. And uh, I don't think there's another there's another organization that uh, we have really worked with that is so dedicated to their cause than uh, the Stravola family in uh, New Jersey, particularly Red Bank with the Tigger House Foundation. Yeah, another great project that we had uh, the pleasure of of, of getting connected to, you know, uh, they were referred to us by a combination of Eric Vowaler from the Vowaler Agency and also Barton Henderson. Mm -hmm. um, they actually um, really connected us to Lisa and her team and everyone from Carla and Amy at the Tigger House Foundation. So it took us a while. It took about nine months to a year for that to come about. Um, but they reached out to us, and, and we've been lucky enough to work together with them. We've mm -hmm. built their website. Um, you guys are working on their social media. Yeah. We've had an opportunity. And I know you and Mike, you guys went up and did some really high-quality, more on the Netflix-style um, promotional, promotional videos. videos. So it's been a pleasure, and you know our whole team is really uh, well-versed and, uh, and connected to that project. So 
Um, we really look forward to, you know, continuing their mission for Tigger. And, you know, I mean, the Tigger House Foundation was founded in 2013 and to keep his legacy alive. So if you want to learn more about the Tigger House Foundation, please click the links in the description below. We'll have their website. We'll have everything about the Tigger House Foundation and how you can support their cause and be involved either as a volunteer, a uh, person who makes a donation, or just to spread um, a lot of their good programs to the regional, national, and international world. And even just checking out our YouTube channel also helps us in a lot of ways because not only it helps our agency get attention to attract new clients with strong beliefs and uh, practices such as the Tigger House Foundation, but it also gives them attention as well, uh, helping spread uh, the awareness of what they believe in and what they fight for across the World Wide Web. And so if you want to uh, join us in helping us finding, uh, finding nonprofit agencies to help and support, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave, leave uh, recommendations in the comment section below of who we can contact, uh, who we can uh, help and uh, help bring to light in this uh, giant world of media and help break through the noise to help the greater good in this world. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, the year continued on. We, we worked on some other um, interesting projects. We worked on a real estate project. Mm -hmm. um, that was a very interesting project. Yeah. That project actually, believe it or not, was a project that originally started back in 2012. Yeah. And so we've been associated with, with that project, some more real estate companies. But walk us through a little bit of what kind of things did we do from the creation of social media videos? Like, what were we doing for these different types of real estate projects? Oh, and tell the audience on how it may help those real estate yeah. agents or real estate um, brokerage firms, because there's yeah. a lot of reasons why these types of services could help someone in a real estate business. Oh, gosh. Well, what didn't we do, uh, first of all? I, feel, I felt like we did a little bit of everything from, uh, from direct um, telemarketing, uh, nights where we spent hours dedicated to just uh, contacting potential leasers, uh, making short promotional videos for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even LinkedIn for that matter. Mm -hmm. uh, just 60 second excerpts uh, talking about new promotionals going on for the certain uh, deals that this, uh, this real estate had in mind. And of course, uh, giveaways, some of them uh, smaller giveaways, such as uh, latch keys, hoodies, mm -hmm. stuff of that nature, all the way up to a huge giveaway, such as brand new electronics, uh, with, of course, promotional branding, and uh, also getting the community involved yeah, on yeah. this new project. We hosted a couple of uh, events that really brought in a couple of uh, local restaurants, mm -hmm. local culinary food that was popular among uh, the townsfolk, and exactly. uh, really just wanted to like welcome this real estate project to the community yeah. and say, hey, we're one of you guys. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I liked about the project specifically, because obviously it, it's in our one of our towns, obviously mm -hmm. KU alum, soon to be KU alum. And um, one of the things that we like, that's Kutztown University for those that are watching. Mm -hmm. um, we really were passionate about the scholarship programs that we created. Mm -hmm. Those were really programs that I think uh, change someone's life, especially with the time of year this has been, and it's been a tough year um, for that matter. I think those monies that we ended up um, mm -hmm. participating in and giving out as real scholarships for people to come back to school and leverage that to offset their costs, I thought that was a highlight of the year yeah. for that per project. I think the other part was which, which was from the earlier year that I thought, to, to your point, is getting the restaurants and getting local artisans together yeah. you know we had a really good time bringing a lot of music and and quite frankly to see the talent level yeah. that was in kutztown at the time i mean to see the the generational uh influence that music has and to see how talented some of those bands are mm. um which ultimately yeah. led to another project yeah well, led to another project in which we helped a band produce a music video exactly and uh, that also brought us on a journey for the hayden films verge all the way up to upstate new york yeah we that, that was a fantastic project i mean we went up to albany um we ended up doing and that's episode six of the hayden films verge you can check that link out as well in the description below but we got an opportunity to actually interview david from white lake music and post yeah 
what a fantastic studio. Not only did we get to interview fantastic him. Fantastic guy, fantastic studio, and just overall fantastic production. Yeah. I mean, you can also check out the music video and uh, all the other stuff in the top right-hand corner. But, of course, we're going to provide the links in the description mm -hmm. below. But if you subscribe to our Hayden Films channel, you'll be able to see all this awesome content, and you can like and share and distribute it to all your friends as well. Exactly, and I think to, to, to lead on to how we can help other types of businesses, it's not about just you know creating an ad campaign, creating a marketing piece, creating some sort of sponsorship. Sometimes it's about creating a story, mm -hmm. and I think that's what Hayden Films Verge can do. So if you're a business or an organization that would want Hayden Films Verge to actually come and do a production, and what we don't just do the production from an audio basis, mm -hmm. we do it from a high quality video basis as well. Because I think right now, and, and we've been talking about this pretty much all year, it's like this convergence of technology. Mm -hmm. So you have not only the editorial of blogs, you have podcasts, you have video podcasts, you have audio podcasts, mm -hmm. but you ultimately have to find a way to break through the clutter in this new digital world. Yeah. And I think that episode, um, you know, Hayden Films Verge episode six was a perfect way for us yeah. to learn about White Lake Music and Post. And the great thing about it, before we went up there to visit um, David and his team, we didn't know he worked on the successful Netflix series, yeah. Stranger Things. Yeah. They actually worked on that project. So to listen to his stories, so we strongly recommend anyone in the music industry, anyone that's looking to do voiceover or work with film agencies or film companies, listen to that podcast. It was a wealth of information. And I think it would be a good replay for anyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, now to wrap things up here on the episode here, I'd like to conclude on our uh, latest and greatest projects. We've been collaborating with a couple of film festivals while, of course, working on our own uh, screenplay competition here at the Hayden Films Institute. But uh, we have uh, something brewing yeah. uh, in the in behind the scenes, uh, something brewing that uh, we can't even uh, really discuss or distribute with the public yet, but uh, I just I like give to give them a sneak peek. Sneak peek? Sneak peek. So two things that we're gonna be doing, sneak peek wise, is that number one, 2021 is really going to be about us continuing custom branding solutions. Mm -hmm. That's really key for everyone that's listening. Our job is, Hey, there's going to be times where you're going to um, bring our team in. And the great part about our team is we're a hybrid team of scholars, professionals, mm -hmm. and students that really brings a, a complete mix of ideas to make your brand pop. And so, again, we have our agency portfolio. You can check out this link in the description below. But to preview some of the things that we're working on, we have a new team that's going to be assembled on January 18th. Yeah. January 18th, 2021 is going to be an important um, day for Hayden Films Institute. We have a professor, we have three high-level um, computer science students, and we have our full team working on some new technology, and it's new technology that's really going to um, hopefully change the game. It's, it's a proud project of ours, and we can't wait to have you guys go on the journey with us to stay in the loop. Please follow all of our social media, stay engaged, reach out to us at any time, and we really look forward to everyone in the 2021 season. And please have a happy new year, and really, quite frankly, come back to this video anytime because there's going to be a lot of great information and links below. Yeah. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, my name is uh, Alec Barber. And I'm Hayden Credoff, a.k.a. possibly Clark, maybe? Poss possibly Clark. And who are you? I am a uh, Hal. Oh, Hal. Hal. So we've been featured in other episodes. So let us know if you've seen Clark in action. And but, um, I just want to wish you all to stay healthy, stay informed, and stay safe. And please continue making a difference.